have gone through a second day of uh, uh, sell-off, if you please. The Korean won has lost about 0.9 today. The Malaysian ringgit has lost about 1.8. The rupiah is 1.5% lower. The Singapore dollar is nearly a percent lower. A Filipino peso is down about half a percent. Uh, and of course, the Indian rupee is down 0.9 at this point in time. And actually, after seeing a little bit of strength uh, at that 64.84 levels, the rupee uh, is once again weakening and touched 64.9. Uh, just a little while ago. Uh, let's get an expert on this. Uh, Ray Farris of Credit Suisse is joining us on the phone line from Singapore. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Ray. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, this was a second consecutive day of the Chinese devaluation. Uh, who do you think uh, are going to be uh, the most vulnerable candidates in terms of currencies? Uh, well, the most vulnerable candidates are those that both have an export basket that is most similar to China and uh, export a lot to China as an end-user market. And in Asia, the countries that really stand out on those criteria are Korea, Taiwan, and Malaysia. To a lesser extent, um, uh, Thailand as well from an export similarity perspective. Uh, so those are the countries where if the Chinese yuan continues to depreciate, um, competitiveness pressures and, and increase in cost in the Chinese market uh, will hurt countries most. The Indian rupee itself has fallen uh, about 2% over the last uh, 48 hours, if you please, yesterday and today. Do you see the rupee uh, depreciating more? Well, if the Chinese RMB continues to depreciate, and that, that seems somewhat likely right now, some further depreciation of the RMB, then it's going to keep almost all of dollar Asia under pressure to rise, including uh, the Indian rupee. So a bit more, but uh, the rupee should ultimately prove to be a little bit less sensitive than some of the other Asian economies that both compete more directly with China and have China as a larger in-use market. Hi, Ray. Um, good afternoon. Uh, what about the yuan itself? Uh, how much further downside do you see perhaps uh, this month, this quarter, and for the year itself? It's right now, you know, it's day two into a new regime. It's really tough to know exactly how the government's going to work this. Uh, our guess is that they're trying to depreciate the nominal effective exchange rate. Um, taking it probably back to its sort of trend level after it became more than two standard deviations rich to which trend last week. Um, that would imply maybe one, two percent lower on a TWI basis, after which it then probably trades a lot more like the Sing dollar, you know, becomes kind of a function of what happens to the broad U.S. dollar. So in terms of devaluation, if you will, it's a pure guess, but from here to kind of the trend, uh, the middle of the trend would be another 1% or so on a TWI basis. Okay. Uh, Andre, uh, are you expecting a, a more general risk-off? We have seen a bit of risk-off playing out in the commodities markets. Will that be it as a result of the devaluation, or will that start impacting equities of these countries? Will there be an overall deflation fear? Well, there already is one, and that will intensify until markets have greater clarity about how this new uh, regime in China is going to work. If the yuan continues to depreciate, and depreciates very significantly, let's just to throw some numbers out there for the sake of argument, a big depreciation, 10, 15, 20 percent, then yes, that's going to be very def deflationary. It's going to cause uh, a lot of problems across not just commodity markets, but equity markets, currency markets, uh, and interest rate markets. If the Chinese government in the next couple of days picks a level at which to really stabilize the yuan again, then the impact on commodity markets and equity markets is probably going to start to become uh, lessened and you know, beyond the last couple of days of correction. Uh, it'll diminish. We just don't know, you know, until we see how they really are going to work in this regime. We just don't know. Okay. Uh, I believe the uh, PBOC was trying to talk up the yuan today or at least stop it from depreciating too much. Uh, 
Were there any statements that uh, uh, impressed you? The, the, I mean, the assertion the government seems to be making is that it's in the process of a one-off adjustment, um, that the currency won't appreciate on a trend basis. Um, that's entirely possible, and you know, perhaps they're effecting that one-off adjustment over several days. If we are still, you know, seeing dollar China rise close to two percent a day a week from now, well, then, you know, those statements about uh, a temporary adjustment are not going to look very credible. Right, Ravi Lee.